All right, Grand Rising, it's Shalanda, and I'm back. So, um, what was that? Oh, yeah. So, I don't know. I woke up kind of early today, and, and again, I mean, it's always something. Although, for some reason, you know, I think that my dreams have been blocked. Um, Sometimes, you know, one will kind of squeeze in here and there. But it's more of a sense of things when I wake up in the morning now. And, um... It's just like, like I said, I feel like this whole energy of this whole sacrificial something, right? Um, and... I don't know. It was like something before I went to bed that said something about, like, think of blue or something like that. But when I woke up, I just was seeing red. You see how it's like a, mm, right? So, mm, and the blue seems just, I don't know, like there is a loving energy, but um, it's being, um, it's so distorted and so manipulated and so overworked. And so, you know, hopefully just on a spiritual level or whatever, anybody that can interpret what I'm saying here or discern it's been so it almost like you know what even just making me think about the red and the blue is making me think about the righteous and then you know in red in the oxen right and then it's also you know the blue is making me think about something else but <sighs> whatever you know, it, it's like the blue wants the chance to prove a point, but there's so much miscommunication. You see, because when we're dealing with this energy, right, it brought me, okay, so whatever. So I wake up and then I'm, I'm checking out, just flipping through the feed and, you know, I stopped at a couple of things pertaining to the media. You know, and I see the reverse kind of psychology kind of thing that's going on, right? And, it, you know, it just, I don't know, it just burns me up because, you know, and then I think I was th thinking about, like, domesticated animals and cattle and chattel. Oh, maybe because we were talking about that yesterday, weren't we? I think so, right? So, um, it just made me think about, because they were talking about domestic terrorism. So, when when is it that the actual people, the civilians... The land, <laughs> whoever beings on this planet, right? Because most times we realize that real Americans don't really, or nobody else really comes to America and really does terrorist acts. They might have happened. You know what I'm saying? It's not, shouldn't be the first thing on our, you know what I'm saying? It's not like people are here doing suicide bombing every single day, physically, right? Now, there are ways that people are taking people's lives away when it comes to doctored documents and to certain things when it comes to that, though. Those things can be used as a weapon against you, whether you know it or not, okay? By people in high places that have access to certain information. Things can be manipulated. Things can be adjusted. And so, again, this is why I have no faith. This is why, and I feel like losing the faith in that energy, especially doing my own research on my own um family tree it, losing faith in that made me have stronger faith in whatever is inside of me right and so it made me think about this uh uh quote that i saw a while back and it says an ox knows its owner and a donkey is led by the master's servant or something like that right with, with dealing with the uh biblical text and it said um, my people Israel know not what they do or something to that sense, right? Right? And so, you know, again, in, after I left that that energy, um, I went into the red heifer. The sacrifice of the red heifer. And, you know, I just have to put it all into, you know, whatever as to what we already been seeing here, right? So we're just going to listen because I don't know how, like, like again how this will work with a copyright or whatever but this is kind of be like a a listening party and i just want to listen to like five minutes of this video um and i'm just going to make comments to, because that's the way that you know source kind of <laughs> yeah leads me in a sense so this is going to be like a guided kind of thing right okay so all right 
Let's see if this, let's see, all right. <laughs> I'm going on an adventure. So there's only one way to figure it all out. Unzip the archaeology. Make it naked. The naked archaeologist. Okay, I guess this is from this show. It's funny he hold up he'll he held up a Canadian passport. <laughs> Like, I'm just, I don't know, I'll just be peeping little stuff like that. And I'm, I don't know if this is just like the beginning of the show every week or whatever it plays. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But that stood out to me, right? Because we're talking about this whole border issue, right? Okay. All right. So, again, they were just playing with the bow and arrow you know what i'm saying him and somebody again like i said i don't know if this is the beginning of the show every day or if it's just for this particular episode but again these are things that are staying out and then one of the club things that we uh did the video on and back in the day i call it back in the day because things have changed so much <laughs> um on those clubs that we saw um it might have been in maybe it was the fascist uh, video that we did that we talked about different like handheld objects and clubs and you know some of these things that might have had some type of something to do with powers or something right like I mean I don't want to go into he-man mode on you guys but <laughs> I'm just saying you know what I'm saying these people were intelligent I mean whoever so-called built the pyramids and some of these things and again we have to remember that we're talking about temples you know built temples also have to do with um, manipulation of gods when it comes to the mind and manipulation of man when it comes to the mind so again that's the that's the whole thing too right like that right oh okay all right so the whole thing <laughs> even made me think about the red and blue really because the blue is always seems like it's just a melting pot of just all kind of things, right? Oh, man. Mm, 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 mm. But you know, the blue, you know, when I think about the blue, though, I think about the blue. I mean, even we even think about gangs and stuff like that, right? The red and the blue. Politics, the red and the blue. So if, if you think about... Um, mm, the blue got heart <laughs> almost a sense like even with that whole uh gd kind of energy about heart <laughs> right so you know it, it makes me think about red i don't know i mean it's about blood like i don't know so it's just mm, it's just very direct and very cutthroat you know so i just let's just keep going y'all <laughs> Let's keep going, right? Okay, oh, maybe he is, lives in Canada or something because his bag has the leaf on it. Okay, so there's a quote here on the screen, and it says, The day the temple was destroyed, prophecy was taken from the prophets and given to fools and children. So this made me automatically think about the, the polo. Let's be respectful. It's because the, the, see, Dems have a way of giving you a perception of something when whole time other shit is going on. You see what I'm saying? That's what they have. At least I can respect in a sense, most times or sometimes when it comes to, and I'm neither, I will be independent, right? Right, I'm neither. I just like to look at things non by I don't like the whole people. You know, I don't look at the people. I don't look, I'm looking at the whole thing. I don't, you know what I'm saying? That when, when I'm looking at the agenda, the something that is behind it, right? So I'm always gonna look for the good and bad in each. I'm never gonna try to push any narrative or anything. I didn't vote for any of them. So, okay, right? So when it comes to um, it seems a bit on the outside 
righteous and it seems a little bit like i said the red is cutthroat you know what i'm saying like even rambunct even when you think about gds they were more rambunctious and more like you know what i'm saying i feel in our neighborhoods you know what i'm saying they were more rambunctious and rowdy and like off the chain or whatever right reckless right which my mouth my, my poise is very structured the way I think is very accurate, but I can come off as a little bit rowdy when I get where I, you see what I'm saying? Okay, sometimes, but oh, what am I trying to say? So yeah, that's what I feel. I feel like that even when you think about the blue, when it comes to that, you know, that that's how I feel. And with uh, the Bloods, you know, I really just remember them representing the red and sporting the red, but they were kind of still more like, you know, um, just like cool, like I mean, but you know, I knew more GDs, but you just see what I'm saying, all right? <laughs> all right, so the red just you know, I really didn't know that they were mysterious, okay, from from a distance, okay, you know what I'm saying? When when it came to the bloods or whatever, it was more they were mysterious, more quiet, more you know what I'm saying, whatever. Where like I said, GDs and BDs was just off the chain. <laughs> I mean, it just that's just what it was. Um. And so it's saying here, the day the temple was destroyed, prophecy was taken from the prophets and given to the fools and children. So again, it, it made me think about also why source just had me go through my feed and somebody, it, which I'm not even subscribed to them. And it's one of these people that I know, know who I am. And I know that they want to be against me and they have their foot in the door some kind of way. And they're being, you know, they're given this. They're being given a platform and a a position to be able to try to further run over America, again or my energy, right? And so it's just like um, it's funny that we're even talking about this right now because talking about this just made me think about the image that I saw, um, and I just kind of you know. I noticed what, what, and maybe that's what Source was trying to tell me. I noticed that somebody was trying to push some kind of fear tactic, but it kind of just lets you know who's the people behind the gate. It lets you know who's, because again, these people are taking orders from their masters and their puppets that are have been sent by, it feels like, again, the democratic energy right now. Republican maybe even, right? And, and, and where, where this is coming from is me, because I know who my... Lord or my, I know who my God is, right? So a personal knowing, right? With this red heifer, right? And so that's the thing. That's the t difference that I can tell. They already got the marching orders. This is coming prophetic. It's coming from me as I wake up in the morning here at five o'clock in the morning. And source has been sitting here with me and put, you know, helping me pick up the pieces and put them together. And now all of a sudden revelation that we sitting here. And now I know why that picture was in my feed of this person, this, this female. Right. And I don't even know what they said in the video or nothing. I just noticed the image and it's, it's funny that we hear. Right. OK. <laughs> but <clears throat> it's something that Pelosi said in this new uh, thing that they're trying to push forward. That is making that is the concern. That is the concern because we've talked about these individuals and I've talked about what I see prophetically with her already on the channel when it comes to, I think, Russia and somebody else as well. So again, I'm going to have to go back and look at that video to see what I was saying in that video, because probably what I said was actually a prophecy. I mean, I think I might've said Nancy Pelosi and somebody, uh, uh, Schumer and somebody else. So again, it's funny, they've been hiding out. Kamala has been hiding out. All these people that I took what somebody may consider shots at when it was really just speaking of things that I was seeing, right? Now they're back in the media. Now they're back because they think that they did some kind of takedown just recently. They think because I'm still continuing to speak what I'm speaking here, that I am someone that is supposed to be controlled by something that is on this plane, right? So it's funny how we've been wondering where these people are and all of a sudden here they go popping up. This whole war thing, we're talking civil in, civil war energy and now all of a sudden they're popping back up in the media and the things that they have, the gifts and the offers that they have are just to further try to disregard who I who America is and the person that's trying to stand for all the people and want to further push this narrative because it's kind of twisted. See, because when you look at these people, they say one thing, but you have to worry about what they have behind their back. 
So that's the problem. You, they say one thing, but you have to work. When it comes to Democrats, it, it never, their mouths don't match up with, the, you know how a movie is and, and, and or something you're watching on television, right? And, and your, their mouth is moving, but the words don't match like that. <laughs> At least they, they try to put, and again, I don't, it ain't for either for me, right? But, okay. But at least Trump tell you like it is. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I would rather you tell me what it is. I like the fact that he said the calm before the storm. I think about that quote almost every other day or something because it it showed me a lot. And what now we're here. And do you see what, what you, you know, you have to be able to wrap your mind in, around all of this, right? Okay, so again, we're going to just go ahead and stop with that whole thing, right? But I see what's being done, and I see who's being used by who, and they think that they slick, but it just so happens that they're dealing with the true, a true descendant of God, and that I can see what they're doing. So again, whether this is just some kind of performance or whatever it is, I'm 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 a detective or something, and I put it together. I mean, it's just what it is. And, and I used to be able to be like a couple steps be, be uh, in front of these people. But I feel like since they have already cut, they have already taken steps to try to cover and cut off my energy from the circuit, right? Uh, from the current situations, right? So th that's what the whole plan was in the, in the first place. Okay. So again, as, as if, as if, and that's what I'm saying when it comes to gods, demigods, whatever it is, it doesn't matter to me. I'm taking up the challenge. I don't just listen when somebody say, do this, do that or whatever. Now, because I'm not doing anything wrong here, first of all, but just sharing information, right? That should open up the minds of people and have opened up the minds of the people is a problem. Then we are talking about people that are going to stop at all. Stop at, stop at, um, nothing to brainwash the world, the people in general. That's what they, they want to keep you brain dead. And that's just what it is. They don't want nobody thinking because then you might think too much of yourself and then you might do better for yourself and your children for the next generations. They want you to focus on little things. They want you to focus on things that trigger emotion in you and have you like the whip and the horse and shit. You know, they want you to pay attention to that kind of stuff right there so that you will uh, always act swiftly on emotion and never really act when it comes to building foundations for a better so-called America. So again, they're saying one thing while they're tearing it down in the background. They're taking hammers and knocking it down. And this is why I can't with the energy, right? So again, the day the temple was destroyed, prophecy was taken from the prophets and given to fools and children. So again, these are all my children in a sense in this energy. And what I'm saying is they are given power i feel like they have done something to try to exclude my energy from the platform right or the world stage in a sense right or from the forefront okay and i feel like what they're doing now is they have given it over to foolish people it, th that they want the nation to be ruled by its children right those that have been created those who have uh, uh drank the blood of christ right? Those who have touched the coat, right? And all the whole time, these people, you know, like I said, when they said Jesus around crook, crooks and all these other people, and he was able to do that, or she was able to do that. You see what I'm saying? So being in that energy and being able to do those things that separates again, him from any or her from anybody else. It didn't say that he was one. It just said that he, as a matter of fact, the more time I spent with different energy that was negative and started to learn this stuff, I think the cleaner I wanted to try to start making my life. It's, I, I straightened up a lot of things about myself. So, you know, it just brought me closer to God, I guess. I mean, and that's just what it is. And I think since we have had the wrong perception of what that is over time, a lot of people are missing the marker. Okay, so this this is talking about less in indigenous language. This is talking about them trying to sacrifice this red heifer, right? A red skin, right? And give the give the nation over to. So the whole thing of abandoning that cabal or that capital energy or abandoning the Bagram airport or the B Graham airport right uh, by them doing that and leaving this leaving all the materials and everything for the taliban the whole time the taliban has been at the table 
America or me, the person that I feel has been left to be sacrificed. I have not been, but they have been in my temple taking my information and taking my ideas and taking my energy and passing it on to anyone that comes by so they can dilute the energy of what would be Christ. And I may be someone... (laughs) who has done this in the past saying that Christ energy, but that's because I could see it in the beginning and in the past. I can see that it was something that was in me or a one energy was a soul kind of thing. So that's why they were fighting for the soul of America. And now they want to, so again, I look at both side eye because now they want to build it back better. So you want to take the pieces of that Christ energy. You want to smear it all over. You want to smear the, 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 um, the, the, What do you call, what do I want to call it? They want to smear, run a smear campaign on me, taking what I have and smearing it onto other fools and children and giving them positions of power and, and they're profiting off of these things and they're, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's just really, oh, profit. See, you see that the profit off the profit. Okay. So let's just go ahead and move on. <laughs> So again, what I'm telling you is straight from the dome. What I'm telling you is, again, a message from source, from what I would say, my Elohim, source, the ancestors and guides that, again, have been with me more than anybody on this planet, um, you know, throughout this time. So again, even when it comes to divine, the divine energies and the divine masculine, it has it has it to the point where I've closed down because I don't even know who to trust. They messed, They messed it up so bad that there's no way for me to decipher at this point in time who is actually really the helping hand and who is not. I can only still just feel the energy, right? And it's sad. She was special. Hold on, let's see. Because now mm. we'll stop here. I'm I'm calling okay. I'm calling him. <laughs> okay, he's he's acting kind of silly. But the thing is, right, there's cattle here. There's cattle grazing on grass. Right? Just how we graze on information, how we sit there and we take in, you know, we, this is all also bringing up carbon and carbon 14. Again, that kind of energy, the hot air, the breath of God, the, you know what I'm saying? It's just bringing up all this stuff. Okay, so while wow, I'm looking at this, but let's just keep moving. Mm, he's coming. <laughs> a few years ago, a cow was born in Israel. Her name was Melody. She was special. She was pure red from nose to tail. And that got a lot of people excited. Rabbis from Jerusalem, Pentecostal pastors from Oklahoma. And I don't know why I'm thinking about Echelon. I don't know why right now. But I feel like, again, when we're talking about this, I don't. he didn't give a date, did he? I don't know. Maybe y'all heard it and I didn't. I'm just... But um, I don't know if he said, I don't know what he said, 20 years ago. I don't know, something like this. I don't know. Um, it, or maybe it's just the imagery, what they're showing on there that made me think about the, um, no, it made me think about the 70s, actually. Um, late 70s, early 80s, possibly, right? So the fact that everybody was excited about this, cow that was born so you know i look at this also as saying okay like uh, we're born right but there's also what i feel like has to do with and i'm just saying it that is this on this channel to be just speaking in general terms um there's an age though right so the whole thing about even like it was talking about with Esther in that book with Esther and Elijah. Um, somebody said, how old are you, right? You know, it just makes me think, like I said, this has to do with a certain holy energy. It's just, it's just going to be that. And so I'm saying like the celestial age, like, again, 
when you were formed possibly, right? By a God, right? By the hands of someone like a Kanun or, you know, because we've learned one way in the scholarly institutions, right? But again, there's going to be something else that's already in you that can decipher what we're really talking about, okay? So, again, being formed by God or he says, you know, this is what I'll do. It just makes you think about that whole movie about those souls or whatever that came out lately. Um, and just energy, frequency, currency, the way things are moving. <laughs> and so that forming or whatever is something that can, God can form someone even after they've been taken out of their mother's womb and they can also do it I guess when before and while right so it's just I don't know I just guess I have had to stop to say that um that I feel like the whole energy that I'm dealing with what like this Esther energy is something that was maybe formed possibly afterwards possibly after they identify this is a red calf now this is where you know this is who it belongs to let's form this this is just really random here it's not even no deep thought behind it. It was just a random something that just came out of my mouth. That portion right there. It's just something that I feel like I'm seeing. Okay. And this comes to any other he uh, heifer or calf. I mean, it's the same thing we're talking about in the Black Genesis. Right? So let's keep going. And then reporters, everyone took an interest in Melody. Why? Because they all wondered, was Melody a sign of the apocalypse? That's because... Melody was connected to here. Okay, so the Temple Mount, right? All right, so, all right, let's get started here, all right? All right, so what, what do we talk about here? Mounting, um, siring, um, what else did they do on, like, the movie uh twilight what was it that jacob had to do to find his uh his girl right you know what i'm saying whatever it would be called <laughs> uh so like mounting siring um whatever okay or just even here let's look to get up on a horse. Again, the whole thing we were talking about, the whole imagery when it comes to Venus um, and, and seeming like, you know, it has something to do with, again, the mind, that, that area of the brain where the thalamus would be. Um, and like I said, it says here to get up on a horse or to have people say, oh, you just acting funny. You on your high horse. Well, that is just God. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? And many people, they dis they dismiss this energy because society tells you you can't be these things. And again, when you're, I'm sorry, when you're reaching that status, there's not going to be any more. I'm sitting here. Oh my goodness. Well, I think that it's this and da, da, da. no, you know right and so you know that you're communing with god and so you know who you are and you don't need no man or nobody to tell you who you are and if that is a problem on this plane right now then they have a problem with god and that's just what how i and i never thought in any million years that i would be standing here talking in this manner so to mount a temple is somebody attaching themselves to so this is what the whole book the spring is about it's about Elijah and Esther being intertwined as one. It's about hypnosis. It's about mind control. It's about someone who is a scryer, a seer, somebody that has second sight, someone who is an oracle, someone who is, you know, sees things, right? She's able to interpret things, all right? And so when we're talking about this Temple Mount, I just don't know what... I mean, you will have to uh, discern what we're really talking about. But these are the term. This is the term here to rise up, rise in, fly. It's almost like Inanna or anybody else. I think Inanna um, getting her wings. All right. So to climb. So these large mountains, like I told you, these mountains is pertaining to giants in those days. And those are the people that are of large stature. Now, you may not know it because for me, it feels like there's a whole bunch of people watching me, but I don't see them. 
But I, I feel like because it's a sense of energy, I can feel the energy pulling away from me as in I can feel the energy pushing into me. I can feel uh, energy surrounding me, <clears throat> light and dark, whatever. You know, it's, it's, it's hard to decipher sometimes, but okay. So again, this is the best time for someone to try to come into, again, my state or any other state with some kind of claims like they want to help people with mental illness when we have all this other shit going on in the world. And that, and, and when they're talking about this at the same time, they talk about this dis-ease. So there's something else going on. Again, if you haven't figured it out by the way I speak about it on this channel by now, then I don't know what to say, but you just have to be able to see because I can't, I can't do the same way like I used to speak, obviously, right? Okay. So again, to climb on to Mount, right? So this is what, again, Elijah was trying to do. So again, I'm, I'm thinking that all of the other confusion and everything that was going on is possibly what stopped that particular connection from happening because, um, because I think he said that in that book that, um, no matter what they're supposed to be together or something like that, but like, she at one point was scared. She was like something happened that kind of traumatized her. And so she went to a standoffish mode where she didn't want to deal with Elijah or anybody. She, she said, no, they want to kill me or whatever. Right. So it's kind of that energy. I feel like that that's what I'm in right now, because even though I thought away, now I'm seeing a different part or even just like she would see different parts of Elijah that would kind of like make her. But then again, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of understanding. So again, this woman that's trying to be subdued mentally, and then I am in a situation where I'm trying to be subdued mentally and also physically, right? And poss possibly even um, sacrificed in a sense, right? Um, whether that's cut off from being a no nation or a society, we have to understand that this is what man, men have been getting away with doing this to feminine energy that is powerful, that is potent, that steps on this planet to make things right. And they have been doing things to defile them and they have been doing things to them behind the scene. And there are people that are in high places that are involved in this. And it doesn't matter to me anymore what they're going to do or whatever it is. Just you're not going to be able to do it right now with me anymore. And you're not going to be able to, you could go ahead and keep doing it, but it's not like I'm not going to speak about it. They're using measures to defile women. You can take that how you want. Your womb speaks. You can take that how you want to take it. And so, so does the womb of your children at a certain age, young women especially. So we like to focus on the things when they get to the surface. We're not even really dealing with what's going on in the background within our so-called um and within this world, I'm sorry, the whole damn world, especially within the communities, especially when it comes to the Americas, everybody wants a piece of that pie. Sweet potato, what, who was that, Domino? Hmm. Most scholars believe that the great Jewish temple- So again, wait. Here to mount on or even military meaning to set up or post or post for defense. So again, now that they have left the scene, which I don't think it has physically anything to do with Afghanistan. I feel like we're talking about the Americas indeed, the Midwest indeed, which would be the Middle East, but the Midwest really, right? And I think that they have given, given uh, possibly land, money, resources, and people. Is what I feel, right? We could talk a spiritual sense or a physical, right? So again, this could turn out good or bad, but again, I would think that for someone that would be that temple, that sacred item, 
should have been included, not just observed, not just told things, but included. Meaning the things that these people were revealing, there would have been some back and forth. There would have been some kind of someone working with this individual. And again, I feel like that was not the case for me. It was always somebody here with the energy or whatever to collect, to collect, to collect, to take, 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 take until they have emptied out everything that they can and they feel as though they don't need the vessel anymore and the vessel is sit there with nothing. And there's people within our communities, I feel, that help them do this. Just point blank period. It's just what I know. Right? But we also see here to mount, to set in a position or a place. So again, this could be, for me, it seems like since the ca the calf, the red calf is getting slaughtered, that it was actually to maybe mount or set a ma mountain men. Wait a minute. Yeah. Mount, okay. Mountain men to project. Okay. So yeah. Projecting energy. <laughs> Look, it, it it is to, again, sit a man on the top of the temple. Look at this. <laughs> right? And and this woman would be too hot to handle. She she's red. She's it's almost like fire energy, right? And so uh for a masculine, right? It may be intimidating, but I felt as though that wasn't the case. I feel like advisors may have manipulated the situation to make it seem as if it was something that it wasn't. And I think that this is what happens over time so that this can continue to happen. Like it's just, that's how I see it. Okay. Let's, let's keep going. A lofty hill. So again, you, if you, if you're dealing with God, you're not going to be. So again, but every time they take, every time they take and they think it's empty, it just, it just comes right back. Right. So it's funny that that's when they start talking about the numbers and how they need this and how they need that and how the, so you just have to watch and pay attention to things that are going on because other tools are going to be used to, again, do this to others because it's the one that is what chiefly, hmm, chiefly, it's the one that is chiefly, that's the head, the, the head of, or the cornerstone, right? The capstone, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So again, it's that head that they need to remove because again, these, then someone else can wear the head. And most likely it might be, again, a masculine energy. <laughs> yeah. To stand out, right? Okay, so let's keep going. On the Temple Mount. Jewish. Okay. Most scholars believe that the great Jewish temple once stood here on the Temple Mount. See, most people believe, right? So what they're going to do is give you an a, a, a image and they're going to give you a perception of some place over in New Jerusalem or this Jerusalem that's now, because again, there was already a Jerusalem in Cortland, Virginia, right? Prior to that one. So if you look at this, they're giving you, you know, the image of what we would think we're going to see when, when you go to, you know, again, I've never been, so I'm just saying what you're going to see when you go to actual Afghanistan, right? Um, but in all actuality, the temple is just a sign, a symbol, something that goes along uh, uh, allegorical with the actual temple, which is a certain vassal or body. The dome represents your head. Even if you think about it, <laughs> We used to talk about the dome when you talk about fighting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or just like even rapping or something like this, right? Off the top of the dome. Jewish and Christian prophecy. Mm -hmm. So Jewish and Christian, right? Prophecy. Okay, let's just keep going. You say that rebuilding the temple will signal the end of days. Okay, so rebuilding the temple. In my eyes, that is really talking about um, using idols. This means using building, using the build the being workshop in order to to uh, relay the information to, and have the information. Hold on, I was just seeing something, and when it comes to this wall. 
Ooh, that wall, this wall look like skulls. Oh, wait a minute, I even see pig faces. Oh my goodness. You know what, y'all, when you get a chance, look at that wall. I'm gonna have to go ahead and go pull it up later on. The wall where they go and put their faces on over there and they pray. Y'all know I got that second sight to see stuff inside of stuff. Mountains and walls and rocks and soil. I never noticed. Oh my goodness, there is. There is. Okay. Okay, that just distracted me. That just took me somewhere all the way left. Oh, my fault. What was I even talking about? We have to go back one second. <laughs> At the great Jewish temple once stood here on the Temple Mount. Jewish and Christian prophecies say that rebuilding the temple will signal the end of days. Okay, Jewish, ish, and Christian. Not Christ, but Christian. Now, they saying that this may signal the end of days. What were you talking about? The whole thing about the end times coming, right? And the temple being built, the new temple, is the idol, the bitch that they want to take and put in a position and put where I feel like, again, this is my, this is my, I dedicated 10 years of my life, neglected things that I was supposed to be doing in order to bring forth this information. I didn't never ask nobody for not a damn thing. And you'll think, I know who I am. And you think that I'm going to be okay with somebody building some other female up right in front of me to be like me and putting them on the pedestal and putting them in a position maybe possibly of power that could possibly be over me when these people feel some kind of way about me they feel some kind of way about me so that means you feel some kind of way about my children and that means that you you feel some kind of way about the livelihood of me and my children and you've already proven that at many different levels when it comes to many different levels, all the levels in that caste system or that caste or class system. It's almost like the whole thing when the other person came in and knew not. Um, cause it, cause it made me, I wrote down in my Bible early, where is my father? It was kind of like me asking that question as to what has happened. Something has happened to the, to that connection between me and, and source. So it's almost like a new person came in who knew not Joseph or who knew not whoever. We're going to have to go back to it. Right. And he, he dealt, he dealt brutally with them. You know, that makes me think about this illegitimate case, possibly, of what has been going on in the presidency for the past four, two to four years. It's, it's something ain't right about what's going on here. Something ain't solid. Some, something ain't solid, right? So that's the, that is something right there that just made me think about that. And the whole thing about it is, this is idol worship. So of course, mm, 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 mm. oh, I feel like that's why I was in that energy last night, in that rain. Because people just so silly. They're just so silly sometimes. I promise you education can lead to ignorance in some instances. So again, building back better. Building back better. You see what I'm saying? And you think, oh man, yeah, we're going to build back better. 
Are you looking at the energy of these people? Are you also then looking at whatever it is, the narrative behind what they're really pushing? Is anybody really pulling up any of these bills and these acts and really actually trying to at least decipher what they're saying? You know, that is what's wrong with us. It's not always these people. It's the gap. It's the miscommunication. It's the something that's going on in between. Because there's also something going on over top. And that doesn't want to come away. So again, the pure heart that comes to be the Messiah or the Savior ends up being crucified because people want to keep doing filthy. They want to be filthy. They want to be nasty to each other. They don't want to be proper. And it, it, I've just come to the conclusion of that. But there are a few problems with building the temple. Mm -hmm. You can't build it unless those who walk its grounds are purified. Oh, but didn't we just say? And now I promise you, I didn't even get this far. I got, I got, I didn't even get this far. I didn't even get to the wall. We didn't get this far. So this is already just verifying what I'm talking about. It's almost like the whole, the weight of the feather thing, right? When you go into the uh, temple and, and they weigh the heart, that's the energy. Right. Because I think what they've been trying to do is scar me so much that I just wouldn't care or I would give up or I couldn't be still compassionate or I wouldn't still care about people because they th these people have used use, uh, uh, mind games and other different things in order to try to destroy the temple, especially in the past year. But there are a few problems with building the temple. You can't build it unless those who walk its grounds are purified. In the Torah, the five books of Moses, says that can only be done with the ashes of a pure red heifer ritually sacrificed. You see what I'm saying? Oh, fuck. These people is crazy as hell. These people crazy as hell. And they keep making me think about air strike. It keep giving me some kind of air energy, these missiles that they talking about, you know, going to these other countries and nations to see how they can deal with this dis-ease that they have here in America that is corroding by telling the truth about things and by being of God is, is corroding the world with this propaganda, which these people are professional at doing. They are the domestic terrorists. They are the ones that are good with the damn propaganda. But you, but they want to attack a woman, a one woman that is not out to harm anybody. And they used all they could to try to subdue this woman and she is still standing here today. To dismantle and take everything. You could have stopped. You could stop. You could have stopped. But that's what hate and jealousy and envy does to especially us in our so-called black Indian indigenous community. It's disgusting. And I hope they all get what they deserve, whatever that would be. So they have this guy, creepy looking guy here on, <laughs> on the thing with this sword, a handmade sword. Right. Which makes me think about Asheville, which makes me think about Asheville and the Carolinas and also the Phoenix rising up from the ashes because it ain't going down that way. So the, the, and the also the Wakanda, I call him the Wakanda man that we found down there in the soil. I think we did the video probably like two months ago. The, the the man, the Wakanda man, or Wakan, right? Because what did she say? Oh, he said, where are we at in Wakanda in the movie? And she said, no, nah, it's Kansas or something like that. That triggered me. We did a whole video on it on here about the whole thing of what's, what, it might even be on my Facebook, I think, um, about all the correlations and everything with the Americas and Wakanda and things like that. Because again, Everything that they try to project away from America is really about America. And they have just taken samples and taken all of the things over to other places in order to portray that somewhere else. It's just what it is. This is the old world. And we're talking about the Old Testament and the old world right now. <laughs> so. 
Because they sure mm-hmm. can't use the souls of these nasty... Um, these women. <laughs> and some of these men. They can't use them, no. So they have to find the most precious pearl or jewel. But my whole point is, what did they do with the God energy? Because although it's still strong... I just feel like there's a hurtful thing. There's a, there is a, uh, like even right now they have this uh, cook shack um, sign on the screen with a nail going through it. And, and it is almost like somebody has tried to actually now drive a stake through my chest. Because it's gone past me feeling like the divine masculine. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, you know. That, that they, they may be, you know, whatever. Like, because I'm not that kind of person that hold on to things that don't belong to me. Or I don't hold on to things or try to, you know what I'm saying? I know who I am. You know what I'm saying? I don't chase anything. You see what I'm saying? So it just like, whatever it is, if it's going to come back to me or if it's going to come to me, it's going to come to me. So at the end of the day, I look at it as like, you know, maybe source knows something that I don't know. Shit. So maybe it, it's a reason why. You know what I'm saying? So... Mm. <laughs> right so but it doesn't stop the fact that there is a sense of something separation or a sense of something there and and and, and with, with the with the energy that they want to project right is that it's all my fault because of something that I did or I wouldn't shut up or I wouldn't do this and if that's the case then hey <laughs> mm. I don't think nobody told the, the queen um, of England or anybody uh, to to shut up when it was her turn to rule. Osha Red Heifer appeared over 2,000 years ago. And so, there was a bit of excitement when Melody was born. Did Melody's birth mean the end was nigh? Well, we can't answer that question without answering a few others. I want to show you something. So we'll get back to Melody in a bit. But first, there's another problem with trying to build a temple here. Something's there already. Muslims believe that from here, the Prophet Muhammad... Okay, so they want to build a new something there, right? But there's something there already. The Dome of the Rock. You know, what is that place? Oh my goodness, maybe y'all can remind me. What is the place that was on the American Gods that they went to in Wisconsin? What was that place? The something of, it wasn't of rocks. What, what, y'all know the place where they went. And all that stuff, it was like cluttered with all kind of stuff. Like it was like a museum or something like that where they had the meeting and they took the fortune telling little tickets or whatever. I can't remember what it was called, but that just came in my mind for some reason, right? And matter of fact, I told myself I wanted to go there. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll go there and maybe I could do a video or something, I don't know, <laughs> right? So um, the Dome of the Rock. See, because the thing that gets me about the masculine energy is, you know, I. Feel like like I said I feel protected but I feel like again there has been a guard or something brought down or you know how even like you know somebody comes and brings something you know because I can't even for me when it comes to the masculine energy I, I had to shut down everything around me and focus on that energy you know what I did also even knowing it was probably best for me at some times I, I would look around and sense something around but I couldn't see nobody I couldn't see nobody with this masculine energy. I just couldn't. And I felt like there was other people around and or wanting my attention in that way of a, con a, a connection. But I could not see nobody. So again, knowing that, knowing how I know the world works and knowing how, again, not in no kind of conceited way, but it feels like there was a lot of prospects from all different levels that wanted to get their hands on this. So it make me think that then that make also, once everybody realized that my attention is on that divine, that's going to be either, he's either going to be used for my downfall, Right. Or if he's if he's genuine, they're gonna take him down.
right? They're either going to manipulate him and use him to, to get to me, or they are going to get rid of him so that they can do what they want to do. So, Dome of the Rock, right? There was already something there. So let's just see what's going to happen next. Muhammad ascended to heaven to receive instruction on prayer. And okay, so it says where Muhammad is, uh, went to heaven. Oh, let's, let's just listen again. I can't talk too much. Something's there already. Muslims believe that from here...